Them Farrell brothers said quarter to three. I'm wondering if we're early or late. Ah, uh, we're late. The bank's closed. Won't be able to get that cashier's check today. Well, now you worry about the unimportant stuff. I'm just wondering how long it'll take us to get across the street to that saloon. Stop worrying about the saloon. That'll be open till midnight or later. Yeah, but Joe, on a hot day like this, they might run out of cold beer. Hey, Mike. Josh, how you doing? Joe. Dude, how are you? Sorry we're late. Hey, uh, we weren't waiting. We just got here, but the bank's already closed. Well, we're not going to let that stand beat us, are we? Well, we got the money for the herd right here. Well, what good's the money going to do is we got no bank. You want to turn it into a cashier's check, so let's go get one. Just like that, eh? Why not? I've done enough business with this bank to rate a couple of favors. This is Mike Farrell. Open up. Sorry, the bank's closed. I'm Mike Farrell. This is Joe Cartwright. He wants to trade $15,000 for a cashier's check. He's in a hurry and so am I, so open this door. Must be new. I've never seen you before. Well, not exactly new. I've been here a month. But I do know you. Uh, I wouldn't have opened the door except that Mr. Moore, our president, pointed you out on the street yesterday. Good. Let's get out with it. Well, it's uh, highly irregular. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure Mr. Moore would approve. He'll approve or I'll take my business elsewhere. Besides, there's nothing irregular about a cash deal. Money right here. Well, I guess it'll be all right. $15,120. And please make out a cashier's check to Joe Cartwright. Well, my tally makes you hurt. It hit over 1000 Joe. Yeah, we would have been 10 over. We lost two crossing the creek. Well, most herds are a few heads short. Pleasure to pay for the extra steers. Pleasure to take the extra money. You, uh, you got a receipt book around here somewhere? Uh, yes, sir. I had it around here the other day. Oh, there it is, sir. Thank you. Joe, the next time you're up in the Arizona Territory, you stop in and see us. Here? Just ask anybody where the Yacabo is, and they'll tell you where to find it. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, it's a great spread, the Yacabo. Good hunting, man. Come and plan to spend a week. I'd love to if my father gives me a week off. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> hey, hey, I was got right. All right, thank you. Here's your receipt. Thank you. Hey, listen, thank you very much. Sorry we kept you so late.
wouldn't keep much of a watch around there. Anybody could walk right in. I saw you coming. Well, everything went like we planned it. Not quite. What happened to that cashier? You hit him too hard. I only tapped him. I swear he had a head made of eggshells. Where's the money? Well, let's get something straight first. There's a rope in this now. The price has gone up. I want a bigger cut. How much? Down the middle, half. Whew. Hey, what? You make it a third and I won't give you an argument. And you can count out your share right here and now. No tricks? I'm your friend, remember? I found you and your wife down in Mexico. No money, no food, holes in your boots, and wanted by the law. And I've been taking very good care of you ever since. Sure you have. Because you needed a man who knew banks. We needed each other. Get the money and count it out. Jackson, how many banks have you peeled to get money to invest in high living and uh, racehorses that stop to graze? Two, three? What's the difference? No difference. It's just that you're going to ride back to get Lisa and head right for the border again. And that's a mistake. Because you're going to wind up broke and hungry just like you did before. Now you're really better off at the ranch. And Lisa loves it there. She'll like Mexico City much better. Green paper's gonna put us right back on top again. Some of those blankets on the bed and wrap them up good. Put them on his horse and dump them in the rocks in one of the canyons on the way south of here. What do we do with his horse? Turn him loose, the first Indian sign we see. They'll steal him. I wouldn't have thought of that. That's the difference between you and me. Calamitous, I know. But there's so much money involved, I wanted to come and tell you about it personally. I've been sick, truly sick about this. Well, now, look, my, my $15,000 was given to a teller in your bank. Now, dude saw it, and so did the Farrell brothers. I'm sure they did, but unfortunately, the man who took your money and made out that check was an imposter. Now, this bears the genuine signature of our cashier. If you compare it with the one on the forgery... Yeah, they're completely different, all right? So how do I get my money? I'm deeply sorry, but we can't honor a forged check. Wait a minute. You've got a sheriff in Dryer Wells. What's he doing about this? Trying to find the imposter. Without success up until the time I left. Oh, we suffered a loss, too. Our cashier was clubbed over the head and died later. Well, it's my turn to say I'm sorry. I'm going to keep these. I might need them. Dude, saddle the horses. Where are you going? After the money. Well, I'm going with you. Oh, no, you're not. Well, I left you in charge of the ranch while he's in San Francisco. It was my job to deliver and sell those cattle. I lost the 15000 I'll get it back. How about if I go along? I've never been to Dry Wells. Well, now's your chance. Be back as soon as we can, brother. Okay, dog, brother. How about you get easy candy? Or you might as well stick around for supper. Well, thank you. That's very nice. Mr. Jackson. 
Lisa. Yes, Mr. Farrell. Did the mail come? No, but I'd like to talk to you anyway. In the house, out of the sun, where it's cool. I don't mind the sun. I do. I'm buying for rations, huh? Good. How's the kitchen help treating you? Just fine, thank you, Mr. Farrell. Well, you're way too formal. Let's make it Mike and Lisa, shall we? Pedro! Get in here! Pedro! Scraps! Throw them out! And if you ever give Senora Jackson anything like that again, I'll slice off your ears and roast them and throw them to the dogs. It's not his fault. He gave me what I asked for. You put steaks in there. Thick, juicy, tender steaks. I want corn. I want potatoes. I want fresh bread and fresh butter. Si, patron. And two of the best bottles of wine I've got. Bueno. You gotta yell at them or they don't do anything. Speaking of wine, what's your pleasure? Nothing, thank you. Lisa, it's not right for you to be living out there in that adobe shack doing all your own work. I let you do it. Because it's what your husband wanted. It was wrong when he was here, and it's worse now. To better days. Listen, in this part of the world, the quality lives in the big house. The hacienda. Shacks for servants. This place is full of spare rooms. Pick anyone you want. Anyone. No, Mr. Farrell. I'm afraid my husband would never approve. Kelly! Open up the gate! Hey, Lisa? To what do we owe the honor of this visit? I heard your horse. I hoped it was my husband riding in. Has my brother been bothering you? He is persistent. I'll take care of it. Thank you. Made a quick trip. Maybe even a little quicker than you expected. $2,500. Last of the cut right heard. Quartermaster Fort James satisfied? Why shouldn't he be? There's no better beef than carburetted beef. It'll be none better than feral beef. And we got the money to operate the way we should. A little trick with the bank and dry wells, we'd put us right back on top again. We haven't heard the last of that. Don't you think I know that? All I bought was time. Time to get rid of the herd. Carwrights will be coming over the mountain. And their boots, I do the same thing. When they get here, what then? What can they prove? We bought a herd and we paid cash for it. We don't know any more about what happened after that than they do. Oh, you're not going to believe that. We're going to have to fight them. All right. We'll fight. We've got the men. What do you mean we got the men? we got three guns we can depend on. Mine, yours, and Keldy's. Well, hire more. There's something else on your mind. Let's have it. Yeah. Something else. I know that that thing in Dry Wells was just an excuse to get the Jacksons out of Mexico. I watched you work for a lot of years, Mike. Abner Jackson didn't know it, but he was dead from the minute you saw Lisa. You want Lisa. But she doesn't want you. And that's the way it's going to be. Don't you mouth off at me, boy. You're talking to the man. Changed your pants, cleaned your messes, wiped your nose, and paid your bills ever since you were paid born. my bills. You were the one that couldn't cut loose from the poker tables till you were in so deep we had to mortgage the ranch. My ranch. I built it. Our ranch. Pa left it to both of us. Get out of here. How many fights we had, Mike? A hundred? Two hundred? And you won them all, except the last one. 
I could have broken you over my knee if I wanted to. Not then or now, and don't ever try. Stay away from Lisa. Stay clear away or we're going to tangle. And that'll be the second and last fight you'll lose. Billy Blake was right in here under this table all the time you and the Farrells was in the bank. Well, Billy was getting on. He, uh, he didn't see too good, didn't hear too good. I guess that's how come somebody could hide in here until he pulled the blinds, locked the door. Uh, no suspects, huh? We didn't even know what the man looked like until we got through a telegraph. But we tried anyway, as hard as we know how. You see, Billy was a cousin of my wife's. Four days before she'd let me stay in the house long enough to eat a meal. Well, there's nothing more to see in here. Aside from my 15000 did the bank lose any money? No, but the vault was locked. You know, Mr. Cartwright, the description of that cashier you sent, it, well, it seems to fit a man who was around here for two or three days before the bank was robbed. He's plumb gone since. This whole thing was well planned. Yeah, had to. Bank was closed, vault was locked. That fake cashier didn't stand to make a cent unless he knew that you and the Farrells and the money was going to walk into this bank. Yeah. You think he pulled it off alone? I don't know. We're not going to know until we catch him. You just want to walk down to jail with me? I got some coffee. Sounds good. Boys, it ain't fresh, but... I found him hid under some rocks in a stud canyon off Apache Flats. Got one bullet through the heart. It's the phoning cashier. I found this in one of his pockets, and that's all I found on him. You know her? Nobody I ever saw. I've seen everybody around here within two days' ride. So in my opinion, we just slammed into the end of the box canyon. Take him down to docks. That dead man ain't gonna help us none. Looks to me like he wasn't in this alone. There's only two other people who knew we were bringing $15,000 to that bank. The Farrell brothers. They did kind of open that bank easy like, didn't they? What do you know about them, Sheriff? No, oh, not very much. Except that they're long gone into Arizona territory by now. Cattle sold, the money stashed, and out of my reach. Who's the law down there? Well, there's a territorial marshal rides by the Acabo about once every six months. Outside of that, I... Farrell's are pretty much about all the law there is. Mind if I keep this? Nope. Let's go see the Farrell brothers. From what I hear, they got a real fort down there. They hire a lot of border gun hands. You do a sight better sticking your head in a rattler's nest. Yeah, maybe so, but there's no other way to get to them. Come on, let's ride. Just how far is this Farrell Ranch? Oh, I figured the Cabo ought to be about another day's ride. The Cabo. You know, that's a name I've been hearing ever since I was a kid. Uh, Cabo, it's Spanish. It means I finish. Yeah, well, I hope it isn't our finish. Well, you're full of witty sands and optimism. That's what I like about you, dude. By the way, uh, how are we going to get in the feral place? I'm going to ride up and ride in. Oh, yeah, just like three fat little quail flying straight into the barrels of a shotgun. Straight forward, that's you, Joe. Not me, I'm a little more, uh... Sneaky. The devious is a word I had in mind, but sneaky will do fine. I read a story once. It's about a big fort. 
There were some soldiers trying to get in. So they built a big wooden horse. And they took it up to the gate and left it. Yeah, it's a Trojan horse, so on. Trojan horse, yeah. You get past bays and duns and I'm lost. The people opened the gate and dragged the horse inside. There were men inside the horse. When the soldiers got back, they had the gate open and the battle half won. Now it occurs to me, the two of us would be a lot better off if one of us was inside the fort when the other two rode up. Are you volunteering? Well, there's got to be somebody the ferals don't know. It seems to come down to me. <laughs> Candy, you are sneaky. You know, if the fighting starts, it'll be uh, you and me that's getting shot at, Joe. And I'll be the one man who ain't shooting at you. He thinks of everything, don't he? You know, how do you figure on getting inside? I think I'll get me some boards and build me a horse. what you think, mister. You don't get in here until you tell me what you want. What's going on out there? Some saddle tramp wants to see the boss. Well, boss. All right, open the gate, let him in. All right, you're in. Now, what do you want? Work. I'm a top hand. You want to go with that gun? Try me. Find out. Well, he comes right at you, doesn't he? I like that. And we can use another hand. Can't use you, mister. Kelly, get him out of here. You heard the man. Move! Hurry up! Out! Take him, Kelly. Tell your hired hand to get out of that gun belt without touching the gun. Do what he says, Kelly. It's the kind of man you hire. He looks like a short measure of nothing to me. You want to get out of those gun belts? I'll show you. That won't be necessary. I guarantee no gunplay. He took our best hand apart without even working up a sweat. We need him. Maybe. Where are you from? Different places. What places? Virginia City, Gold Hill, 
Carson, town of Paw, dry wells all over. All right. I'm at ten dollars more a month than he's getting. You're worth it. You're hired, friend. Thank you kindly. I'm Mrs. Lisa Jackson. Something I do for you? I heard you say you were from the north, Dry Wells. Yeah, that's one of the places I stopped at, yeah. My husband is up there, on business. I wondered if you might have seen him. Jackson? No, I don't think I met anybody with that name. He's dark. Curly hair, hazel eyes, mustache. Well, Lisa, I see you've met her new hand. We were just talking about dry wells. She was asking me about her husband. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I didn't meet anybody with that name. But I was just in there long enough to say howdy and goodbye. Yes. Well, thanks anyway. Right. Pretty woman. Yeah. You came in from up Reno way. Mm -hmm. How long were you on the trail? Three, four weeks. Move right along, huh? I don't stay where I don't like what I see. No offense, I wasn't trying to pry. It's just that outside news is scarcer around here than dancing girls. And I thought something might have happened along the way. No, nothing. Oh, there was a bank robbery in Dry Wells. Uh, something different about it. I never did get the straight of that. I guess you know there's more to your job than discarding that gate. Gun hand pay, there usually is. Well, Mrs. Jackson is the worrying kind. That robbery had nothing to do with her husband. No point in telling her about it. I wasn't planning to. Good. But she lives in an adobe out back. She asked me to see nobody bothers her while her husband's gone. If I'm not around, that's part of your job. Mm -hmm. Keep everybody away from there, including my brother. Well, that might not sit too good, a hired hand chasing the boss. The boss? I hired you. I didn't say anything about chasing. You just walk up and stand there till he leaves. Kelly! Over here. If Mike wants to know why you're there, just tell him to ask me. All right, we'll do. Take over here. Candy's gonna get something to eat. That's what I was gonna do. Look, you've already hit the kitchen twice. It's time Candy's first. Digging right in, ain't you? Making yourself a home? I'm doing what I'm told, just like you. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. You're shining up to the wrong fella. Josh is just a pup. Mike runs this spread. And something else. You and me, we ain't through yet. We got one to go. Well, you try it. You might get yourself a raise. When I'm ready. And you may as well give that saddle of yours away, because you sure ain't going to be needing it. Nice evening, Lisa. Pleasant out here, isn't it? Yes, it is, Mr. Farrell. Still Mr. Farrell, huh? Lisa, I I don't want to hurt you. But I've I've got to tell you the truth. I I don't think you're ever gonna see your husband again. On, on, on that ride up north way. He talked about 
You talked about California and a, and a fresh start. I didn't mention it before because... Well, I just, I just couldn't find the right words. But Lisa, he's, he's not coming back. He just, just rode on west. I don't believe you. Wait, I know how hard it is to accept because of the way you feel about him. But it's true. I even lied about the mail for the same reason. The mail from the north comes twice a week, not once every two weeks, like I said. I've had four letters from Drywell since we got back. Good night, Mr. Farrell. Wait, Lisa. There's something else. You don't have to worry. Because I'm going to see to it that you don't want for anything ever. Not for the rest of your life. And I'll be proud to do it, Lisa. I don't want anything from you, Mr. Farrell. All right. I spoke too soon. Think about it, Lisa. I'd break my back to make you happy. Miss Jackson? Fresh water. Who told you to fetch anything? I asked him to, Mr. Farrell. Thank you very much, Candy. Mm -hmm. You take a lot on yourself, boy. After this... After this! Candy will do Lisa's chores. She likes it better that way. And so do I. I got a tramp in there all dusty and sweating. I guess it's time old bone bag and me did our little trick. Oh, son. This rock don't have to be big enough to hurt him. Come on, son. Just so he knows it's there. Hey, now look at that. Convince anybody. I trained him myself. Because when that weather turns nasty, there's no better excuse for toasting your feet on someone's bunkhouse stove than a horse that comes up all uh, cripple-like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I, I know what you mean. I seem to remember the first time you came to our ranch. Well, I've done it again, bone bag. I swear I'm going to have to have my mouth sewed shut. Another mile of dusty road and tight boots, and I bet he's going to make me walk every step of the way. Dude, you can count on it. Brad, how about opening up, like I said, huh? Tell you tell me who you are and what you want. Well, now, are you going to stand there spouting questions? Will a couple pilgrims die of thirst? Who is it? It's Joe Cartwright. Open the gate and let him in. Josh, look who's here. Joe, how are you? Hi, Mike. Hey, you remember Good. you, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you bet, dude. You? Come right in. You got a lame horse. Yeah. Had you made it? Barely. Joe, uh, is Candy, one of my men. Uh, he'll take care of your horses for you. Honey. Candy? Mm -hmm. Come on, you gotta be kidding. Nobody's gonna name my Candy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in the house. I got something to cut the dust out of your throat. Take that my horse, good. Candy. Yeah, Joe, the Acaba's a great little spread. Of course, it's pistolero country down here, you know. Border gangs strike without warning. Steal everything but your bones. That's why the fences and the guards outside. Gotta be very careful in the hills, but the hunting's great. I bragged the cart right about our hunting, brother Josh. Now it looks like we've got to prove it. Gentlemen, here's to a strong drink, a hot bath, and a soft bed. Just for the man needs after a long ride. Joe, dude.
Mike, the, uh, the hospitality is great, but this isn't a pleasure trip. Oh? Well, I don't understand. Yeah, well, that $15,000 cashier's check I got at the bank, that's a forgery. It's no good. The bank won't honor it. A forgery? But how could that be? We, we both stood there and watched him make it out. Yeah, but the man was an imposter. A real cashier was hit on the head. Died before he regained consciousness. Well, I don't believe it. Josh? Well, if you say it's true, it's true, but I... I can't see how... I didn't know that man. He said I'd been pointed out to him. I'd never seen him before. That's why he let us in the door. I, I'd love to help you, Joe, but you saw and heard what I saw and heard. Josh, can you add anything to that? No, except uh, another drink might ease the pain a little. Yeah, it's a good idea. Joe, I, I don't know what to say. I thought I made a clean deal. Bought a herd, paid cash, and got a receipt. And I bought a phony $15,000 cashier's check. Well, you don't expect me to pay for the herd twice, do you, Joe? No, I don't expect you to pay twice. I, uh, I just thought you might be able to help me find him. Well, I told you, I've, I've never seen him before. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You told me, didn't you? Oh. There must be somebody in Dry Wells knows that man. If it was me, I'd, I'd talk to every man, woman, and kid in that town. We already have, no luck. Well, it's, uh, it's gonna be two or three days before dude's horse is ready to travel. I hope that invitation to be your house guest still holds. Sure, sure it does. If dude wants to make a swap way, he can have his choice of our stock. No, thanks. Me and old bone bag been through a lot together. I'll keep him. Speaking of old bone bags, we better check on him. Thanks for the drink. We'll see you around. Hmm? Right. Right. How's the leg? Good, good. You doing any good? This is what I expected, nothing. This woman out back, waiting for her husband to come back from the dry wells. He's long overdue. Her picture's in that locket you're carrying. Uh, how long do you think it'll take to heal? Well, I don't know. Two or three days, anyway. Go up past the bunkhouse circle, come in the back. I'll cover some box stalls in the barn. I'll get some medicine for this leg. All right, thank you very much. On our wedding day, he said he'd carry this as long as he lived. I knew he was dead. I wouldn't believe it. But I knew. We were very close. Even when we had to be apart. He was with me. Inside. A gentle, glowing warmth. Always there. One night, I woke up. Suddenly, cold and empty and alone. There was nothing there. Nothing at all. And I knew. Oh, he made mistakes. He got into trouble trying to get money to buy me the things he thought I wanted. And all I ever wanted was him. Hi. Ms. Jackson's woodpile was down to nothing. Uh, your brother asked me to rack up enough for a week or two. Mm. 
My husband was working for them. He stole your money for them. And they killed him. And they're going to pay for it, Mrs. Jackson, right now. Mr. Cartwright, I believe I can help you. I think you better stay out of it. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm already dead. I died with my husband. Took you long enough. Wait a minute. Stay here and watch the gate till I tell you different. You want me to do what? I want you to open your safe so I can have a look inside. You think your money's in there? Yeah. Yeah, I think you planned this whole thing right from the start. There's money in there, but it's my money. And that doesn't mean we had anything to do with the robbery. The cashier spilled some ink on some of that money. I think it's in your safe. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever been called a thief. This is, uh, this is De La Frontera brandy from Spain. Last bottle in the territory. Why don't we open it up, have a drink, and start all over again? I think we ought to open the safe. Well, if you put it that way. Fuck shot load. Go ahead and try it. No guts. You could have bluffed him. It's too late for bluffing. It is now. What are we going to do? Arroyo Seiko. Time they find him, it'll look like a couple of fools got caught in a flash flood. And what about me, Mr. Farrell? Now that I know all about it, are you going to drop me off a cliff, too? He's not going to do anything to you, Lisa. I won't let him. You try, Josh. But you couldn't stop him. I can stop him. Did you try at Dry Wells? Mr. Cartwright and I had a long talk. He told me what happened at Drywell's. He even brought me this. You killed my husband. That's right. And I'm sorry you found out about that. Because now you're going to have to go along with Joe and Dude. Oh, no, you don't. You stay out of this. I told you to stay away from Lisa or we tangle. And I told you you're talking to the man.
safe combination is written on the bottom of the desk drawer. God bless the house. It's your money, sure enough. Yeah, $15,000 of it. Give the rest of it to Sheriff and Dry Wells along with Candy's friend. He can turn it over to the U.S. Marshal. When you are ready, senores, the horses wait. Right away, amigo. You know something? What? I wish I'd never seen this money. <laughs>